Hi Leo, my fire sign Leo. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. <laughs> welcome and welcome back to the channel, you guys. So the third was my birthday. Some of y'all may have thought like it was yesterday the fourth and that's only because I posted the reading late. I did do the reading on the fourth. So I'm sorry about the error. It was actually the third. I did post in my community tab about it. So you guys can check out my community tab. Um, send your girl some birthday wishes. Okay. I wish everybody a happy birthday who's already celebrated their birthday. Happy belated birthday and happy birthday to all the Leos whose birthday is coming up. So let's see what's coming through for uh, your love life. Let's see what the universe wants you guys to know when it comes to love. We're going to try to get some new energy in here because this past person keeps coming up in your energy, Leo. So we're going to see if there's anybody new, a new love interest, or somebody that you have your eye on. Somebody you could be manifesting right now. Or somebody that could be manifesting you. Take the reading how it may resonate. The roles could be reversed. Y'all, I'm so glad that I got my nails done. You just don't understand. I felt so bad that, you know, I kept losing nails. Nails kept popping off. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it was so frustrating. But I'm so glad that I have my nails done, okay? So let's get into this reading and see what the universe wants you to know. Let's see who's coming towards you, Leo. Mm. Okay, so somebody that was trying to control you is coming towards you okay now keep in mind the roles can be reversed and this is a mercury retrograde reading because today is the start of mercury retrograde all the way until i think the 23rd okay yeah so i feel like you released this person who was trying to control you trying to like keep you on this puffish strings yeah you took your power back completely from this person you took your power back from this situation. You're in full control of this situation now. You're in full control of your life. Leo, that's good. You're releasing things from the past. You're releasing anger issues. You're releasing things that you was holding on to that you was afraid to let go of or hesitant to let go of. Yeah, Leo, that's good energy. Mm -hmm. A twin flame is coming towards you, okay? So I feel like... You could be aligning with your twin or there is a karmic still in your energy, Leo. I feel like there's a lot of passion between the two of you, but you know, there's a lot of things that you guys had to work on, work out. You know, I feel like this karmic um, came into your life to teach you lessons about yourself and you realized like you had to take your power back when it comes to your love life when it comes to your self-worth yeah this person's gonna get karma you're getting good karma i feel like you had a toxic story with this person you could be writing a book about this but i feel this energy of you healing and releasing things from your past you're closing out karmic cycles here leo and i do see that new opportunities are coming in for you could be a new person a new job a new career you know a new idea um could be a new home here too you know could be some sort of abundance coming in for you leo yeah true love is coming in to your life okay so this is somebody you're gonna have pure love an honest connection with Okay, you're going to have an honest connection with this person. I feel like you two are going to be very honest with each other. This is pure love. A true love connection is on its way to you, Leo. All right, so let's see what the universe has for you. Yeah, this is a professional man. Okay, this is someone that is going to court you. I feel like this person um, wears uniform. They're a professional male. So they could be a banker. They could be working for the airport. They could be somebody who just loves to wear suits. They look really good. This could be somebody that works for the law. You know, in a high um, corporation. I feel like this person could be, you know, just a professional male. 
Okay. Yeah. You know, who is this person that's going to be courting you, Leo? I feel like you're going to get communication from this person. You could have been reaching out to them. I do see texting, a phone call, or you may meet this person online somewhere. Yeah, I feel like y'all going to start dating. So get ready to be wined and dined by this person. I do feel like there's a lot of romance coming into your life as well, Leos, okay? A lot of passion between the two of you. And it's going to, um, you know, allow you to be in this energy with this person where you're going to align with them. And I feel like there's a union happening. So you guys are going to get together, okay? This is a partnership, a serious relationship. Somebody wants marriage. Somebody's looking for marriage, Okay, you may have kids, they may have kids. If you don't have any kids or if they don't have any kids, I feel like this person is like childlike. So they could be younger than you or they just like to have a lot of fun here, Leo. Look, this past lover is still in your energy. This past lover may have children as well. Okay, I feel like you're leaving the past in the past. Okay, I feel like this past lover has broken your heart. All right, and I feel like you're leaving that in the past. You're like, it is what it is. You know, let's move on with our lives. <laughs> All right, Leo, who is this person that's wanting to court you, that wants marriage with you? I feel like this is somebody you have a past life with, a past love. This is somebody here that you've known from the past life. I feel like when you get around this person, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to experience some sort of deja vu moments with this person because you're going to have this knowing that, okay, this is someone from my past, okay? Some of you may have a significant um, attachment to Egypt or a pharaoh or something like that. Yeah, let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more for Leo. Yeah, Ice King. So whoever this past love is could be an air sign here. I feel like you're detached from this person. Okay, whoever this is that's coming into your life, this is a boss. This is an entrepreneur. This is someone that works for themselves, has their own company, you know, makes their own money. They make good money here. I feel like this person makes a lot of money here, uh, Leo. Okay. But they could be a little bit detached right now because I feel like they're focusing on their finances here. All right. Mm. So how will you and this person get together? I feel like your money is looking good, Leo. Some of you could be bosses, entrepreneurs. You have your own company, your own business. You set your own hours. You work for yourself. Or you work for a place where you're the boss of the company. Yeah, so I feel like this could be a long-distance relationship for some of you. This person could be from a foreign country, okay? They could be very mature for their age. They could be an older man. You could be older than this person. There's distance between the two of you. This person may live across the waters here from you, Leos. Give me one more for Leo. Who is this person? This person may have like crystals, gemstones, jewelry, or they may sell this type of merchandise, or they just see you as a true gem, you know, like a hidden gem. I'm seeing purple here. So some of you, that's your favorite color. That's actually what I'm wearing, purple, and I have purple nails. So some of you may have purple nails too. Um, more purple here. I'm getting amethyst energy. You're going to have a lot of fun times with this person. I feel like this person and yourself may start off, excuse me, start off as friends first. 
This is somebody that may go to college with you or at your workplace or does the same profession as you do, Leo. Okay. So take that how it may resonate with you. Hmm. Let's get some more messages for you guys, Leo. Let's see who's coming towards you when it comes to love. Spirit guys, angels, ancestors, can we get some new energy here for Leos? Can we get some new energy? Please, God. Because <laughs> I feel like this past person that you released is already involved with somebody. Okay, they may have moved. All right, and they met this person like in their area or new scenery or somewhere like that. Um, they're already with somebody, right? So I don't know why this past person keeps showing up in your energy. You know, if they are with somebody, that's perfect. You know what I'm saying? They need to just move on, right, Leo? Right. Give me some messages for Leo. Pissed off tried to pop out. I saw pissed off. <laughs> Ooh, wee. You got somebody mad. They in their feelings. Yeah, you're listening to your intuition. You're following your intuition. The universe is guiding you. You could be readers. You could be pulling your own cards. You could be watching readings, getting readings. Somebody could be getting readings on you. I feel like your intuition is being heightened at this time, Leo. Okay. If somebody is heartbroken over you, uh-huh, something they saw or this person broke your heart. And I feel like you're using your intuition when it comes to this person who broke your heart. They had you really in your feelings, crying, sad, depressed, and hurt over something they did to you, something they said to you. You may have sent this person a text message because this woman is holding her phone. This could be a man. So you may have sent this person a text message and they are sad about this message. Or they could be seeing something online here. Whoever this is, they're heartbroken. Or this is someone that broke your heart, Leo. Somebody here dresses really good, but their pockets don't fit the persona. Y'all could be in a relationship in the fall season, a beautiful connection, okay? I feel like you may be a little unsure or indecisive about this person, but I do feel like you guys are a homebody. So you're going to cook for this person and give them massages and treat them really, really good, Leo, Okay, maybe this is what they want to do for you. You know, I feel like somebody here is not in the streets. They go where they need to go and go back home. Okay, some of you work from home. It could be this person too. Somebody here is just a homebody. More messages for Leo's. Yeah, this card was at the bottom of the deck, but I wanted to shuffle. So you guys are getting a new car, you're leveling up, you're making more money, you have a new career coming in for you. I see you Leos being financially stable and there's more purple here. There's a lot of purple in these cards. So some of you have amethyst clusters or crystals that's purple. Okay, Leo. Um, somebody here got a side piece. So this is definitely feeling like somebody from your past who has a side piece. They don't see this person in a serious way. Like they don't take this person seriously. Like if you told this person to come back, they would leave this side piece and just be right out the door. Leave them sitting on the bench where they found them. This side piece could be like younger or very petite, may wear ponytails. Mm. Yeah, somebody got a little side piece. This could be a rebound too, I heard. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody has unfinished business with you. This person cannot... And look, X was trying to pop out. X lover was trying to show his face. Um... 
this person for some reason you love really good or you got that good good or you just like the whole package i don't know they can't stay away from you you know they they want you leo they want a second chance with you to show you they can be the one for you they feel like there's unfinished business between you and them they may want to take you on a romantic date, or this could be someone else that wants to take you somewhere nice. They want to please you and show you the feelings that they have for you, but you're ignoring this person. You're like, mm, nah, I'm good. <laughs> y'all not understanding each other. Y'all not getting along. Y'all just not talking right now, Leo. Y'all not talking at all. Yeah, you don't want to talk to this person because... You know, this is somebody you had to recharge from. You could be recharging now. You're emotionally or physically drained, checked out, and exhausted by this energy vampire. And I told you this person was pissed off. I told you this person was mad. Because you found out some shit about them. They're getting caught. A secret was revealed. This person has been exposed. They're guilty. I do see them getting ready to make a confession about something here to you so get ready for this leo be prepared for this what is sticking out here this person is low-key obsessed with you okay they're low-key obsessed who's obsessed with leo relocating somebody may want you to move toward them a mystery lover mm okay so some of you this person hasn't told you their feelings or you just don't know who this person is yet they're a mystery all right this is a sexy secret admirer who's crushing on you they always wanted you they're very shy so i feel like they've been holding back but they're ready to come forward they're ready They don't want you to give up on them. They're not like the other people. Okay, this is a forever love connection. This is somebody that's going to put in the effort towards you. This is the one. This is somebody that's going to open up to you. You can ask them anything and they'll just answer your question. Somebody here is smoking or drinking because they stressed out about you. What's this sticking out? Yeah, this person is going to be in love with you. They're not going to give up on you. This person wants you. Whoever this is that's coming into your energy. Who is this person coming in for Leo? Who is this person? Uh, see? Okay. Okay. See, this past person keeps showing up. They want you to have sympathy for them. Okay? They want you to forgive them. They want you to accept their apology. They feel remorseful. They're throwing a pity party. They're going through a lot of sorrow and trouble over something that they did to you. This is somebody you let go of. You're just like, please let me go. I'm trying to move on with my life. You're happy. You feel free. It says it's over. No more drama. No more stress. Time to live again. Look, new love is coming in. Could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Or could be any sign. This person wears suits. This person has a lot of melanin in their skin. They're very smart, generous, creative. They're a great communicator. This person is intelligent. They're sociable. So I feel like they do engage with other people like talk to people this person is a thinker okay so they have a lot of great ideas you're gonna end up marrying this new person i'm sorry okay you're gonna end up getting engaged getting married to them they want you to be in their world okay it says you are my world i am forever yours yeah i'm telling you and look somebody's trying to still figure out how to get to you it says, I know I was wrong and I will fix it and make it right with you. There's a past person here that's trying to figure out how to get back to you. They have unfinished business with you. They still want you. I feel like this past person does love you. 
but there is somebody else in your energy who you're going to end up marrying and it's not going to be this past person because you let this past person go okay yeah this is a mature man someone who got coils in their hair or twists and when i say coils i mean dreads this could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn or this could be any sign but somebody who is young, grounded, and practical, self-made. So they got it out the mud. They work for themselves. They're a self-made millionaire. They're ambitious and they own everything. This person is watching you. They're trying to make sure that you're not with somebody else because they're being sneaky trying to see if you're with somebody else before they pursue you. This could be somebody here that wants kids they have kids this could be a cancer pisces or a scorpio you may feel like this person is a player but they're single they're single okay or there was somebody in your past who was a player leo and you became single from this person okay you became single. I feel like you're not dealing with them. You just spending time to yourself. You know what I'm saying? There's a moth that keeps flying around me, keeps landing on my workspace. I'm starting to feel like it's a monitoring spirit for real. <sighs> because why are you over here? <laughs> it could just be the light too, but... Uh, He's on my light now. It's a silver looking one. I'm used to the brown ones. Like these silver looking ones is from like where they come from, you know? Let's get some more messages and then we're going to get to the tarot. Leo's like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be spoiling y'all with these readings because it is our season. Okay. All I ask y'all to do is like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to book me for a private personal reading... You can book me at Queen of Wands 1111 Tarot at gmail.com. That's the only way you can contact me. There's a link in my description box. And if you would like to donate to the channel, my Cash App is in the description box. There is a link. Once you click on it, it sends you right into my Cash App if you would like to donate. And that goes straight into the channel for new cards, new material, and new setup. <clears throat> Someone had doubts about you. I don't know if this is the past person or the new person. We'll see in a minute. Okay. It says, I wonder if this is too good to be true. So this person could be thinking like, maybe there's something to this. Maybe there's a catch. Maybe this is too good to be true. Okay. Y'all got power couple vibes coming in with this person. Y'all going to be growing and glowing up together. Okay, y'all going to be glowing up together. A lot of people going to see y'all or y'all just got them power couple vibes, you know, um, power couple goals, relationship goals. Somebody wants to rebuild with you, get back to a good place with you. Yeah, they want a solid foundation with you. They want to build something solid. This person's mesmerized by you. They find you to be irresistible. I feel like this past person was having doubts about you. They was overthinking about you. They thought this was too good to be true. They misjudged you. It says, I want to call you and hear your voice. So I feel like y'all not talking. But they want to have a conversation with you. They want to meet up. Okay, they want to meet up. They could be meeting up with somebody else. For like sex, midnight meetups. They could be sleeping with somebody else, Leo. They're in regret though. Yeah, they're in regret. They wish whatever happened between you and them never happened. They could be telling you that this person that they're around and themselves are just platonic friends. But if they're meeting up for sex, it's more than a friendship. This person feels like you fulfill them sexually. You take them to ecstasy. But there's unexpressed feelings here. 
Somebody's keeping their feelings hidden. You could be sexting somebody. Y'all could be talking dirty to each other. Yeah, you're letting go of this connection. You're moving on, Leo. You're moving on. Somebody got their eye on you. Somebody's going to pursue you. You could be daydreaming about this person, getting lost in the thoughts of them, or it's vice versa. Okay. Ex-lover is still here. Wondering if I made a mistake letting you go. They're starting to doubt themselves now. They're starting to ask themselves like if they made a mistake letting you go. They feel like they should have held on to you. They feel like they should have never walked away. They're starting to feel like what they did was a mistake. They're starting to feel like they made a mistake, which they did. That's why they're feeling like this. Okay. Let's see what the tarot has to say for you guys. Let's see what the tarot has for you. Remember, you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Get your amethyst clusters. Some of y'all already got clusters or crystals. Y'all may need to work with y'all crystals, okay? I see a lot of purple in here. For some of y'all, y'all um, favorite color is purple. All right. What does the tarot have what is all this? Somebody is mad. They tight. They pissed off. Somebody here is upset as hell. Ooh, we five of wands could be another Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Somebody's conflicted within about something because you close out a cycle with them. Yeah, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or another Leo. This is a fixed sign. This person was so fixated on you. I feel like this person is thinking like they should have fought to give you the world, but you're done with them. You closed out this cycle with them. You're not repeating this cycle. It's over. I feel like you distance yourself from this person. This person is mad because you did this. So they're keeping their distance. This is um somebody you thought was a twin. I'm seeing you closing out this cycle and getting into a relationship. Or this person could be involved. I feel like you're going to meet somebody that look good. They're going to know what to do in the bedroom. This could be you masculine that know what to do in the bedroom. Somebody's going to like pop the question to you. Want to marry you. Yeah, they're going to want to do the right thing by you. This person's going to treat you right. Be fair and honest with you. There could be somebody here that wants to like do things right by you. Somebody here from your past. Yeah. See, there was a false start between you and somebody here. It was on and off. I feel like you're not attracted to this person anymore. And they're in their feelings with the moon. Okay, I don't feel like y'all having sex with this person or the sex was all right with them. I feel like you don't know a lot of stuff that's being hidden behind the scenes. Okay, but I feel like you don't see something coming with the moon. I feel like there is somebody here that's going to make you happy with the Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. There is somebody that's going to give to you, be generous to you. They're going to appreciate your generosity too. This is somebody that's watching you. An uh, air sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that wants long-term marriage, family, home, kids, making money together, power couple vibes. They want it all with you. They see you as their end-all, be-all with this Ten of Pentacles here. Okay? They see you as their end-all, be-all. But they're trying to get some more information about you. What is this Ten of Pentacles here for? You could be getting some news, a letter or something about some money. Okay, this is good. With the Fool card here. Yeah, I feel like you're taking the leap of faith into another direction here. Yeah, I feel like you're going towards this new person. 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody's going to have deep love and deep emotions for you. I feel like y'all going to be in love with each other. I do feel like this is a rich person. Somebody who has a lot of money. Somebody who's stable, solid, grounded. This is somebody that will be loyal to you. I feel like this type of person you've been waiting for for a long time, Leo. You've been guarded. You've been through a lot of shit in your life. But I feel like it was meant to be with this wheel of fortune. This is destiny. This is happening in divine timing. This person's going to show you off. Or this person's a public figure or in the public eye. For some of you, they're going to want to keep this secret. They're not going to want everybody to know who they're dealing with. For others of you, they're going to want everybody to know who they're dealing with. All right, they're going to compliment you. They're going to support you. Yeah, I do see communication coming in from this person. So y'all going to be talking a lot or sending messages back and forth. This is somebody that's a good fit for you with the emperor. This is somebody who's a boss, a manager, a co-worker, a CEO, somebody who has morals, value, discipline. Okay, they have control over their life. And I feel like there is somebody else here who is stressed out over you. Okay, they are worried. They're worried you're slipping away. They can't eat. They can't think. They can't sleep. Some of y'all, this person could be losing hair, losing weight, losing money, or I don't know what they're losing, but I feel like somebody here is stressed out. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. What messages are coming out for... Leo in love. Somebody is sad. They feel in some sort of way because you're entering into a new soul contract, a new connection, a new relationship with a Gemini. Yeah, they lost you. Whoever this past person is, they lost you. And they're worried that they've lost you forever. They're in love with you. But I do feel like there's a choice between two. There is somebody else around them. Three of Swords. There is a third party around this air sign. And that's why you hold them back from this person. You're holding back. You're like, nah, I'm not going to engage in no third party situations. Because you're not trying to get hurt again. Yeah, this person is unhealed. You know, that's why they got somebody around them. I feel like when y'all broke up. They got with somebody else. Okay, so there is a choice between two people here. This person hurt you. They hurt you bad. And that's why you're holding back from them. This person had you in your head overthinking. You know, this person wanted you to be stuck with them. But now I feel like it's backfiring. Because they feel stuck and trapped in a situation that they do not want to be in. They want to get out of this situation and they feel like you are the only one that can get them out. At least that's how they see it for now. But you're rejecting them. You don't want them. You're not, you're not interested in them. This person could be locked up or they're just in a mental imprisonment of their own thoughts here. They feel stuck, trapped, and blocked like they can't get out of a situation. And they're seeing that you're getting away. This is a missed opportunity. You're going towards like a new relationship. Y'all may start off as friends first, but I feel like this is a soulmate. This is true love with the two of cups. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody younger than you. Somebody who's very sweet, very kind, very nice, very loving. Somebody who's single. They got their shit together, you know? They doing well for themselves financially and they looking good and they smell so good, Leo. This person smells good with that nine of pentacles. This person could be sending you messages of love. You're getting news of love from this person. This person's like a curious type of person. They ask a lot, a lot of questions or you may be asking them a lot of questions. Oh my God. All these cards are trying to flip. Look at this. King of Cups. 
You're going to make this person fall in love with you. This person is going to fall in love with you because they like your independence. They like how you got your shit together. You know what I'm saying? You doing what you got to do for yourself. You're not dependent on nobody. That's what they like most about you. Okay? They are loving you. I feel like this person may not wear their heart on their sleeve, but they're going to love how you nurture the connection. You know, how you're giving. You take care of people, especially the people that you love. This is a big offer that this person is going to give to you. This is something serious. I also see like money coming in for you. A large lump sum of money. A job offer, a raise, a bonus, a promotion. This person is not going to play head games, mind games with you. They're not going to mind fuck you. They're not going to do that at all. But I feel like there is somebody here that's going to offer you something small. Bare minimum type shit. They want to make amends with you. Could be an Aquarius, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're wishing, hoping, and praying that you respond to them or that they could make you a peace offering or you accept this offer. I don't know. There's somebody trying to sneak into your life. This person is definitely dating someone else and they're trying to juggle you and another person at a distance. They're trying to hold on to you while they're with this other person. But it's over with the death. It's over with this person from your past. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or... Yeah. The chariot keeps sticking out. I feel like y'all moving on. Y'all moving forward. This person may want you to come and see them. You're like, no, you're blocking them. You block them. You're pushing them away, shining them off because they just move too slow. And that's the truth. They move too slow. They took forever to make you an offer where you felt like you was never going to get it. You're getting good news about your work, finances, or some sort of money here. Something you've invested in, something you've been waiting on. You're going to be very happy. I feel like you feel happy and whole by yourself. But there is somebody that's coming in that's going to make you happy, that's going to spoil you. Somebody's going to give you everything that you want. And there's somebody who is rich and wealthy. And I've been hearing that circulating all through the tarot community. Somebody rich and wealthy is coming towards a Leo. This is a soulmate. This is a great connection. This is like somebody who's stable. With the star, I feel like this person could be a public figure or in the public eye. They could be in a nursing field, the medical field, the dentistry. They could be a celebrity. They could be famous. They could be popular. They could be well-known. Whatever. This person gets a lot of attention. They got a lot of options, but I feel like you're going to end up with this person. They could be like blocking a lot of these options. Yeah, see? Seven of Wands. They're blocking people who reach out to them, who try to flirt with them. They feel like these people just want them for their money with the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Mm -mm. They feel like people want them for their money. People going to try to use them. But I don't feel like they see that in you because if they did, they wouldn't talk to you either. But this is somebody that's coming in for you, Leo. So congratulations. I feel like y'all going to marry this person. Y'all going to end up marrying them. And it's not this person from your past. I feel like this past person is going to be pissed off. You're going to have like a lot of people pissed off. Because a lot of people are attracted to you. They do want you. A lot of people, you know, want you to be with them. I feel like you have options. But there's one particular person, Leo, that you're going to end up marrying in the near future. It's going to happen in divine timing, though. But you're not meeting this person like for no reason. This is not a coincidence with the um, Wheel of Fortune. 
luck and fortune is on your side and I feel like things are going to go in your favor here. Okay. So there is somebody coming in who's going to love the fuck out of you. Who's going to be loyal to you. And I feel like you've waited for this type of love. Because y'all dealt with a lot of players. A lot of people who lied. Cheated. Stole. Took advantage of you. You know what I'm saying? Was playing mind games. Head games with you. <clears throat> people that was just non-committal. Fuck boys. Fuck girls type energy. And I feel like once you completed cycles. And let shit go. And surrendered to the universe. That's when this person's going to come in. And honey, you're going to have the relationship you've always wanted. This is a hell of a birthday gift. So I'm glad I did this reading for y'all because this is a hell of a birthday gift. The universe is going to bring this person to you. Whoever this person is that's on your mind. Okay, this could be a new person that you are interested in, or this could be somebody you never met. But I feel like you're going to get this person's heart, Leo. Okay, congratulations, Leo. I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all deserve this. Y'all been through so much hurt and wounds and pain in y'all life and y'all love life. Y'all deserve this love. And I'm so happy for you, Leo. I'm so happy for you, Leo. Gang, gang. So, Leo, if you enjoyed the content, if you enjoyed this story, if this is your story, if this, if this doesn't make sense with you now, this could be a prediction reading for the near future. Um, this could be happening right now or this could be happening, like I said, in the near future. But take whatever resonates. If you stay all the way to the end, if you want to see me do more readings for y'all, which I will be, make sure that you guys like this video for me right now. Turn your post notifications on. Do me this favor. Turn your post notifications on to all. Make sure you comment. Make sure you share this video on all your social media platforms. And make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and join the Queen of Wands 1111 family. Because after you subscribe, you're not just a subscriber. You are family. Okay, you are family. So I love you guys so, so much. My Leo tribe, my Leo gang. And I will see y'all in the next reading. Bye.